Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So those my friends at yarnspirations.com. This is my own concept. I'm calling it the Turkish corner to corner, C to C. And what this is, is that we work from corner to corner going out. Today, I will be teaching you how to do it as a square, but also as a rectangle and then just a quick little border. The border's not showing on this one here. So I'm going to be showing it to you in homegrown yarn back here at home. You can't buy it online, but it's just a local... Um, person that does her own wool and whatever size hook that you decide make sure that it complements the yarn so if you want to look at the ball band when you're looking at different kind of things and what the recommendations are you can decide to do that really easy concept and we're going to get started right now so let's begin so let's begin we're going to create a slip knot and I need you to chain six but here's my tips I'm going to show you how to anchor and also really speed tips I want you to chain six but watch one two, three, pinch that third one, and then do four, five, and six. The one that you pinched is the first stitch. So instead of having to figure out how to count back to the fourth one, just move your thumb backward, and you're going to double crochet into the one you pinched, which is the fourth one away. So you're gonna do that one, and then there's two more chains left, and you'll apply one double crochet into each of those two chains. So I decided to keep the edge nice and flat and only work on the Turkish area when it's not on an edge. Pull everything nice and tight and let's turn your work and begin row number two. Row number two, I need you to chain six. So every time you're gonna do a growth to make another extra box, you're going to chain six. So one, two, three, pinch, four, five, six. The one that you're pinching is the first one, so move your thumb back and double crochet in that one, plus the two more that are left in that chain. You're going to notice that this is gonna twist. Let's not freak out about that yet. Just Let's just get in our stitches to get back. So there's always gonna be three stitches after a chain is completed. Okay, so it's always the chain, one, two, three. Now I want you to rotate this because we have to get the orientation. Rotate it so that this is directly towards you. I'm sitting right behind here, the camera. So I want that facing me. And you're gonna come in and you're gonna separate the space that is in the chain area and the first post. Go right into the space and slip stitch. So if you've done corner to corner, it's the same thing. And then chain three. So one, two, three. And in this space, I want you to do something different because I'm doing it differently now. So I want you to do two double crochet first into the same space. And I want you to anchor it. That's what I'm calling it, anchoring it down. And instead of using the same space like they normally tell us to do, I want you to anchor down into the actual top of this right here. And so that will never be able to move or shift into that hole at all. And now you're gonna turn your work and let's begin row number three. So the edging will always be the same when we're doing the growth out. I will show you the rectangle in a bit. So we're going to chain up six. So one, two, three, pinch, four, five, six. The one you're pinching is the one you're going to double crochet into plus the two more that you have. Now you're going to fold it up, like go, so go like this. So this is towards you. So go up and you are going to slip stitch like this. We're now going to start the Turkish stitch next. To begin this, you are going to chain three. So one, two, three. Do you see the space here and the space here? That's where you wanna play. So you are going to apply the three front post double crochets in both of those. So you're gonna wrap the hook, dive into the space, and dive out of the space here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two and two. You've just done a front post double crochet around the space. 
okay, that is connecting that together. So do it two more times. So wrap, just coming in. Once you do it the first time, it's gonna be stay open. And pull through two and two. And one more time. So you still need your three double crochets in there, but they're in a different position to give you the texture that you can see within the pattern. Once you have that done, we're now going to head to an edge. Okay, so you're just going to go into the chain space here between the chain space and the post, slip stitch, chain three, and then finish off the end like I've showed you before. So put in two double crochet first, and then I want you to anchor the third one in to the top right here. And now you can see some texture is happening. The texture is double-sided and I want you to turn your work and begin the next row. So let's begin a new row. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. So I'm gonna chain six, Just use that chain, that, that third chain up just to pinch and go into that stitch and follow it back. Okay, we're just gonna fold it up and we're going to slip stitch into the space between the chain and the first post. And now we're going to start doing the Turkish stitch again. So chain of three. And see this space here? And this space, just kind of peel it back, use your fingertips, and you're just going to wrap the hook and dive into the space and out. Pull through, pull through two and two. So I need you to do that a total of three times. Once you have that done, see this here? This is the three double crochets that are in the front post of here. See the space, just go right into the space. And because we're not on an edge yet, we want to do another Turkish stitch. So chain three, yarn over, going into the space and coming out of the space here. And you're gonna apply your three front post double crochets there. So we're going to head into this box here and we're going to continue to increase. I'm going to show you one more uh, row. So we're going to finish this one. So chain three, two double crochets into the space. And then where is that third one going to go? Did you say the anchor? That's right. So you'll just go in an anchor and I'll demonstrate one more time. And then we'll talk about squares and rectangles. So you can see the textures now happening. So let's begin a new row, whether it's a square or rectangle, it's the same concept when you're growing both sides out at the same time. So one, two, three, pinch, four, five, six, it sounds like a dance. Move your thumb backward, get it out of the way and start double crocheting back. Now you're just gonna fold it up. Two and attach, and now you start doing your Turkish because you're no longer on an edge. So one, two, three, wrap, going into this space and coming out of the space over here. And just do three front post double crochets around those. So you're, you're actually going around the connection spot. Now you're just gonna go up See this space right here? That's where you're gonna go. So the three double crochets here are kind of bearing and behind. Go right into the space and you'll do another Turkish. So you're always gonna do Turkish when you're not on an edge. And you can see this is really no big deal at all. And I was really amazed by it. Um, I just thought, where, where, where else can I stick my hook? Okay, so then you look for the space, jumping in chain three, and then you're going to continue. Okay, and then 
you're just coming to the outside here and you're going to finish it. And we're going to talk squares and rectangles next. So if it's a square and you just want to keep building it out, you just keep going back and forth and you keep adding more and more and you can see that this texture is happening and it's beautiful. And what I'm going to do is first is that I'm going to show you how to decrease this if it's a square. And then you can see in the video chapters when we go for a rectangle on how to do it as a rectangle. And so, but we'll do the square first. So let's do a square. So let's just say that we're happy with it. When you're growing out both sides, you have the same amount of boxes per side. So one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. So in order to do square, we have to decrease on both sides at exactly the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have to start building in the boxes to get ourselves to a point here, corner to corner. To start, the way that I'm about to show you here is not going to be the same as what I will show you in the future. And there's a difference because you're just starting out with the corner and haven't established it yet. The slip stitching here, you're just going to slip stitch the next one. Be a little bit loose with it, don't be too tight. And you'll slip to the next one. And I want you to slip not into the space but into the chain work itself to anchor that down so that that first chain that we're about to do will never be able to move. You're now going to chain three, and this is considered an outside box, so this space here will have three double crochets in it. Okay, you're gonna fold it up and see the space here, it's really quite open because of the, my stitch work. And so you're just gonna go right there, slip stitch, and now you're gonna start the Turkish again. So you just chain up three, and then just go into the space, do your three front post double crochets. Okay, go into the space. And what you're doing is you're looking for when the square will finish and the last box will be right here because if you continue any, any further, it would be a rectangle, which I will demonstrate later. So you're just watching on where that last box is going to be and make sure that you do not Turkish stitch the last box because it'll look out of place. So you gotta make sure that last box going in is flat. Okay, so you're just gonna join. And so this will be my very last box so I'm just gonna chain three, and then three more double crochets in there. And what I'm thinking about doing here, and what you should be thinking about, don't just go into a space like we have been, go right into some chain work at the edge, and that'll prevent it from sliding to misshape anything. So go right into there to anchor it in. You're now gonna turn your work, and you're going to notice is that you've successfully now turned the corner on this side and this side, and you're just gonna go back and forth, just making it smaller and smaller until you get to the point. Let's continue and show you how to decrease again, because this one's gonna be different for the remaining. So because you're decreasing now, where you're sitting is in the anchor spot of this here. So when you go to get to over here, you have to slip stitch across the three double crochets this time, so one, two, and three. And then go right into the chain work, not to a space, to anchor the first one in. So it prevents it from sliding out of position. You're going to chain three. The first box will stay flat, so it's just gonna be three double crochet in there. You're then gonna come up and go into the space and now you're gonna do the Turkish stitch again. So one, two, three, and then three front post double crochets into the same spot of the connection. Would I say this is a yarn pig? No, because you're not actually changing anything as far as the actual type of stitch, it's still just double crochet. It's just in a different spot and creating the texture. So this will be your last box because you have nowhere else to go. So this box 
has to be flat, so it'll chain three. And so you're just gonna keep on getting smaller and smaller until you get to the point where it's just coming right down to the nitty gritty right at the end. And then anchor into the chain work itself and turn your work, okay? So now we're gonna continue along and this is the second last row that's happening. And so you're just gonna go in and start slip stitching right until you get to that anchor spot of the chain work itself. And then begin. So the outside box is flat, so chain three. And put in three double crochet. Okay, you're gonna come and join it here, but you're not doing a Turkish, you're keeping it flat because the next box is the outside box of this corner. So eventually you'll get to this pot, the second last row. Okay, and then you're going to join it. And then you're just gonna turn your work and do your very final box. You can see from this perspective, it almost looks like there's vertical lines going on, depending on how you wanna look at it. And in the right yarn, this could be really cool. So this is your last box. So you've just anchored yourself, chain three, and put three double crochet in. And therefore, you're just going to go to the top here, the chain work, and anchor it. And if you want to continue to a border, turn your work, if you, and you don't want to change out the yarn, just slip stitch yourself back to get to yourself to the corner. And I'm going to cover on how to do a rectangle in just a few moments from now. But therefore, you've just gone now corner to corner. Just like you see, you have some texture work in, in a major sample. It actually looks really quite cool. And when the yarn's changing colors on its own too, it's really amazing and it's double-sided. Let's show you how to do a rectangle next. So let's go back to a rectangle and I'm gonna sound like Fire Marshal Bill from <laughs> the 90s of In Living Color. Say you want to. <laughs> um, what I have here is that I wanna do a rectangle. In one side of the rectangle, it needs to grow. And in the other one, it needs to decrease. So in this side here, I'm gonna start you with a decrease and then I'm gonna continue with an increase. So there's never gonna be a box change at this point. So you see that there's one, two, three, four, five. In my case, there will always be five boxes. It's the same as the whatever side is gonna be the shortest is the same number of boxes. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to slip stitch myself to the starting spot. So if you've done the square, you're slipping until you can get into the top of the chain. Don't go into a space because you'll change the shape of your project. So in this one, we wanna decrease, which, so we're gonna create our first square. So if, once you're happy with the width of your blanket or whatever, you can just stop and start making your rectangle if you wanted that. So you'll chain three, and you're going to double crochet into this space right here. And you'll do that three times. So on the outside boxes, I want you to keep them flat. It'll make the texture jump better. So now you're going to come to the space right here, slip in, and you wanna start with your Turkish. So chain three and put in your three front post double crochets at the connection spot. Then you'll come into the space here and continue along. So you're gonna keep doing your Turkish as long as it's not an outside box. So in my case, I've decreased when I started it, but because I want it rectangle, I need to increase when I get there. So I'm going to continue to do another Turkish and you'll do this across. going to slip stitch it right into the space and you're going to chain three and finish the outside box like I showed you so two double crochet in first 
and then anchor that third one in. So you can see you've now just turned the corner on this one here and this side is still going to get bigger so it's going to grow in this direction. So when we go to start the next row we need to do an increase but then we need to do a decrease by the time we get back here. So let's just flip our work and let's begin. So this side we want it to be longer until we decide that we don't want it any more longer and we just want to stop. We can decide that then. So you're going to chain six. So one, two, three, pinch, four, five, six. Move your thumb back. And so you're creating an extra box so that your blanket will get longer in the rectangle format. Okay, you're gonna flip it up. Go right here. Chain three. And this will be your Turkish until you get to the final box. And we'll cover that in a few moments. So it's gonna be three front post double crochets. So that's never gonna change on you. Okay, and then chain three. And so what I'm paying attention to is when the final last box, which will go in here. So I don't want to Turkish that final last one. If you forget, you will notice it later. So make sure you are paying attention to that. So you always want the outside boxes to be flat. So attach. And this will be considered the outside box. So just chain up three and place three double crochets in here. So you do not want to finish this by doing an extra box on top. You just want to finish it so it uh, sinks in behind and becomes part of your neighbor. So then just slip stitch it to the top of that chain work there. And you can see that you've increased on this side and this side is decreased and it's shifting this way. So when you're very happy with the length of whatever you wanna do, you just wanna repeat the last two rows. So if you started again, you would have to slip stitch yourself to this pot here, chain up three, three double crochets in, and then go across to your Turkish, and then you would have to create an extra box here. When you're happy with the, the length of it, depending on how long you want it to do, then what you can do is that you have to start decreasing so both sides will finish at the same time. Let's begin that next. So let's say we're happy with the length of it and we want to finish it and we want to just start creating the final corner. You're going to slip stitch yourself to the anchor spot. Chain three and put three double crochet in here. So this side is still decreasing just like we wanted to, but the other side we want to start decreasing. We don't want to increase any longer. So now we're going to just flip up and do here, chain three, and do your Turkish. So what I want to do is pay attention to when the final box goes in so I don't do any Turkish stitch on the final box. It'll be very noticeable if you do it. Okay, and I'm working my way across. And now this is gonna be the last box that will go in because it'll rest right beside this guy. So we're just gonna chain three and just put in three double crochet into the regular spot to keep it flat. Join to the, the anchor and then you're going to turn your work and now you're just doing it like it was a square. So now you have to slip stitch yourself all the way to the anchor spot. And so you might, you'll have definitely probably a bigger rectangle. 
So it just will take a while to, to get to just being this many left. And it's, you're just gonna chain three and double crochet into the space there. And you'll double crochet three times. You're going to continue to Turkish now because it's not an outside box. And so I'm paying attention to where the outside box is, which is the next one. So I want to just chain up three and double crochet into the space three times. So it stays flat. Okay, slip stitch to the anchor and then turn your work and again decrease. So again, slip to the anchor. So chain three, keep it flat and just put in three double crochet and I haven't said it yet, but I'm wondering if you're paying attention enough to know. When I go to join it here, the next box is the outside box, so I can't do any Turkish on the second last row. So you just chain up three and put three double crochet in because both of the boxes on, row, on the second last row will be an outside box each. Now you can turn your work and you're gonna do your very last box. We will cover a border in just a few moments. Okay, and then this is your last box. So just chain up three and three double crochet into the space because it's an outside box on both sides. So you're just keeping it flat. So usually I like to keep the same color in play and if you don't want to, you can, you can just slip stitch it here. You can fasten this yarn off, but if you wanna keep the same color going around, you can just turn your work and slip stitch yourself to the top of the anchor in the chain. And therefore that will keep you on a corner and you can see that this is what it would look like. Let's do a border next. To do a border on something like this, it's actually really simple. We want to play between the boxes that you see. And so you're going to chain up one and you were going to single crochet into the same spot of the anchor. You were going to chain three. So one, two, three, and single crochet into the same spot. That's your corner. Now you're gonna chain three, so one, two, three. Single crochet between the two boxes. So just go right in between the two boxes, single crochet in, and continue to do that across. So just chain three. Come in between the boxes. And one, two, three. Come in between the boxes. So continuing along, just chain three and just keep jumping between the boxes and then eventually you'll hit a corner. So you'll chain three before you do the corner and just go right into the corner, single crochet. If you can't see it, just fake it. Chain three. And then go back into the same corner to have a turn. Chain three and start jumping around in between the boxes. Just use your fingers and separate the boxes out from each other. And this is a great idea and I'll be right back. So just go all the way around and I'll show you one more tip before I let you go today. When you're coming all the way around, you're just going to chain up three and then just slip stitch it to the beginning single crochet that you had. I'm gonna show you one more tip. So I'm just going to go into the next one. So I'm just going into the chain three space. I want you to chain three, that'll count as a double crochet and I want you to put two more double crochets into this corner. So this is a way to start building out on your border in case you wanna do anything else with it. And then your chain three, and then three more double crochet into the same corner.
Once that's done, your corner is done. And so each one of these chain three spaces is just gonna have three double crochets in each. So you just keep jumping across. I'll put three into each. And then when you hit another corner, it'll be three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And this will really help your blanket. Um, you may wanna block your blanket by dampening it at the end and just laying it flat to dry. The tension has a bit of a lean to it or a bit of an angle. So um, the blocking it will help if it bothers you in any way. Uh, for me, it really doesn't bother me, but you can decide what works for you. And I'm gonna see at the end of the round. So remember your corners when you hit them, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, and you can continue to um, grow at your border as much as you want until the cows come home or when you're happy, whatever one comes first. <laughs> I'll be back at the end of the round. So when you get back around, you'll be in the last space before here. So you have your three in, and then you're just gonna slip stitch it to there. And so you can continue to go around and around and around until you're happy. And it's a really neat concept. You will probably want to block this, so just spray, spray it with a little bit of water. And you will notice that this is double-sided, so it looks good on both sides. And what's kind of interesting about this, if you look at it, this side, the lines go this direction. But if you flip it, the lines go in the opposite direction. Neat, right? So this here is the Turkish stitch corner to corner, and it's a concept by me, and we hope that you enjoy and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.